Hello, hey, welcome to Making RV Memories. My name's Pat, and today we're going to be making RV memories in the basement storage compartment of my new fifth wheel. It's big enough that I'm, I'm sitting in here now. I'm a pretty good sized guy. Hey, if you got a travel trailer, I know how small that pass through storage can be because we had several of those, and some of the stuff I packed in the middle of it, I didn't even get to see. Don't really remember what I even had there until I unpacked it all. So today, a little bit of a clean slate, so we're going to get started on the, showing you how we're going to really get things organized here in our basement. And if you're new with us, hey, hit that subscribe button there. That would really help us. And the like button there with it. And if you'll click on that bell there, I'll ding you every time we post a new video. Hang around. We're going to get started packing this uh, storage up, and we'll show you some ideas we got here. Here we go. Hey, I made it out. Didn't have to call 911. Didn't have to have a wrecker or a crane. I got out of that basement. It is huge. It's big. Never had one that big. You know, I've always just had little storage areas in the travel trailers and some of the storage areas, well, you know how they are. The door on the side is so small, you can't get your, you can't get your shoulders into them. So the stuff that's packed in the middle of your camper, you may see it when you unpack it, maybe not. So I fell in love with how big that basement is. And then the second question came, what do I pack? You know, we've been full time now for about three weeks. Sure is fun too, it's, uh, it's been nice. But I didn't know what to bring. We always just vacation, so I've always just been used to packing stuff for a, a week at the beach or a weekend or maybe down in the mountains. And so what do you take? I always took too much, but there's always, always something that you want to think, oh man, I wish I'd have brought that. Well, with the basement this big, you can take just about everything you think you might want to take. And now that I'm full time, gosh, I, I think I brought everything but the kitchen sink. The basement's packed, truck's packed, camper's packed, and Glenna's got it packed. Well, pretty neat. She's uh, she's found a, a cubby hole for everything. But in the basement, I just uh, I sort of fixed me a, a set up there. Here you can see we started, like I say, with a brand new clean slate, a big old empty box there. A lot of room to move around. I always have put me a small piece of pegboard on the wall, even in my, some of my travel trailers, just to hang keys and a few little toes. We can see on this one, I put a pretty good sized piece of, uh, of pegboard there on the wall. And just for vacation, last year we went, we made a few trips with it. So I loaded the pegboard with, uh, what well you can see here, just a few tools and uh, keys and tape and just little random things that you might wanna, might wanna use there. Now take a look. This is my full-time pack and oh boy, <laughs> I got her loaded tight But there's a lot of things on there that you know, I'll just I'll, I'll go through and do some downsizing on my pegboard I'm sure there's some things on there that I really don't need but yeah, I don't know if you can ever have too much stuff This is my main side I do most uh, most all my tinkering on this side as you can see I got a lot of good things on my pegboard that I want to get to fairly quick without having to go through a bunch of tubs to get you know, some easy tools. Some, I keep my cleaning supplies, uh, some Windex, some Raid, and just some, some uh, supplies there. Uh, a lot of screwdrivers and all kinds of just little gadgets you probably wouldn't keep on yours, but you know me, I got the old Pack Rat Pat. Uh, got my fishing rods hanging from the top. Got my brooms hanging from the top, so they're neat and clean and uh, sort of tucked out of the way. Back in the corner there, I've got my little pop belly uh, air con, uh, my air compressor. Front of my fifth wheel does have an airbag on it, so I need to keep air in it. Plus, the tires on the camper need air up occasionally to keep them uh, keep them top notch. So that little air compressor is sort of neat. Keeps it out of the way. A little tool bin with all my nuts and bolts and little gadgets that I might be needing later down the road. And my toolbox. Dad left me that toolbox, so I keep keep it handy in case I got to be the Mr. Fix It DIY guy. So little things here on this part of the slide makes it sort of handy. And of course I told you about my slide. So I can just ease that out. Here's a picture of the slide when I first, uh, when I first put it in. It's sort of, sort of neat knowing you don't have to crawl in to get everything. What I did do on this side, yep, mounted my Blackstone grill here on this end. So now when I'm ready to ready to grill, I just flip the lid. So when I do pull it out all the way, it's sort of sort of neat, it's right here at me. 
flipping up the lid. We can do breakfast, we can do lunch, we can do uh, supper here. Super easy to get to. I bought, uh, got me an extra propane tank that I'll put right up under it and uh, feed the propane to the Blackstone independently from the tanks in the camper. Uh, got all my utensils here. I'll take those off and, and set them down so I can put my, my cooking tools here on the, on the little shelf. Neat. Then I just clean up my grill, slap the, slap the lid down on it, and off she goes ready, ready for the next meal. We'll walk around to the other side and I'll show you what I call my service side. I do have some goodies tucked into the front. I keep a, I've got a, I ordered it with a uh, Onan 5500 propane generator. So anytime we want to stop somewhere and have some automatic power, got those. Got my, my batteries in there. It does have four, four 12 volt batteries. We're at the campground now, so you can sort of, I'm, I'm already hooked. Uh, sewer hose, power on this side. I'll show you something neat that the uh, Cedar Creek came with. It did come with a cable reel. So when I get ready to leave, I just wind up my cable there. So when it's all wound up, that thing is out of the way and I don't have to worry about it. I did bring me a, a longer ladder. Got it sort of tucked away and you can see all of my junk. Okay, Pat, that's right. Here we go. This side slides a little bit easy to pull out. My water hose, the water hose that I've got back here will all wind up with the uh, uh, my water regulator and it'll all right into the tub there. This is for my my little bridge for my sewer hose to give us some elevation so you know what will run all downhill. Got an open area right here so my little uh, my little homemade water filter system that we're going to do a we'll do a demonstration on one of my modified Mondays. We'll do that with one of those on a Monday. I'll show you what I did with that but it stores right here in the in the deal along with my progressive surge protector they lay right here because when i get to a camp spot those are always the first things to come out so i need them right on the end and that still gives me a, a lot of room on the slide as you can see i've got a fire extinguisher here way down on that end down there i've got another fire extinguisher so anything that would ever happen either door i want to open up i'm um, easy access to a uh, a fire extinguisher you didn't see a uh, didn't see a connector for the uh, for the sewer hose. You know, I got a sewer tube that I built. It's been on uh, two other campers. This is the third time for that one. So you can see here how it, uh, how it just sort of slides out. Super easy to make. That'll be another one of my Modified Monday projects and I'll let you sort of see how that's done. A lot of people have done them so they're really not that hard to, hard to fool with. Uh, nice, nice little setup once you get here and it's for us as full timers. So we're a home sweet home. Well, I hope this helped you just a little bit to sort of see what we take with us on our travels. Uh, if you're just a weekender, you probably don't take near as much stuff as I do. Uh, but with us being full time, I was, like I said, I didn't know really what to take. So I just sort of took it all. I'll go through downsizing every time we go up. I see something that's more in my way than usage. Uh, we just got started, like I say, a few weeks ago. So a lot of it's still new to me. But I'm glad uh, glad you joined us this far, and uh, click on that subscribe for me. That way you can join our adventure and go with us everywhere we go. We'll take you with us and show you everything we can. Click on the like button. That would really help us. Leave me a comment. That's what I'm looking forward to. we we'll get some comments, and maybe you can help me. Uh, if you saw something in my uh, basement that you need to take, I hope it helped. If you saw something that I didn't take that you use, hey, leave me a comment and tell me what you think. And click on that bell there, too, and I'll ding you every time we put a new video out. Again, my name is Pat. We're with Making RV Memories. Hope to see you on a meet up and greet up here soon, and God bless you.